Hi, Mark. Really good session today. It's good to see you swinging the club as well as you were. Just going to run through some stuff now with the three wood. In terms of setup, just want to make sure that golf ball we can see now is positioned opposite our left heel. Because we want to be striking this golf ball with a slightly upward strike, we're just going to move the ball slightly up in our stance or nearer the target just to encourage a sort of different angle of attack into the golf ball. But once we're set up there in that position, the swing thoughts now we have from the first lesson remain the same. We still want to be transferring our weight to the left side. You can see on this left hand one now as we start coming into it, there's certainly a distinct drop back onto that right side. That left foot sort of starts lifting off the ground. And when we finish in the position here, you can see a lot of weight now still sort of on that back foot, sort of setting a definite spine lean back and away from the target. So once we got focused on that same movement, now the change of setup is going to create the correct angle. We can still make the same natural swing again. Nice hinge of the wrist, good shoulder turn, and we can return the golf club back now to the golf ball, transferring that weight up onto that left side. You can see now that right foot up onto its toe, and most of your weight now down to that left side mark. Much more powerful, much more efficient way to swing the golf club. So just be aware of those subtle changes that set up with the driver. When there's a golf ball on a tee peg, we are moving the ball up near our left foot. Everything else and off the ground, whether it's a 7 iron, a 5 iron, or a different club, we're playing more sort of towards the centre or just left of centre, really sort of under your left chin, left chest. So with the new club, put it forward. Other clubs, put it back. Other than that, the swing will remain the same. We've still got to transfer our weight to target and get that club and the power being made from the body movement rather than you trying to lift it up in the air. So hope that all makes sense. Any questions, obviously give me a shout and I'll see you next lesson. Cheers, Mike.